Hello, it's Crafty Fox, and in this video, you'll learn how to make a diesel train in Minecraft. Specifically, it's the GE Evolution series diesel locomotive. So, um, I'm not going to show you how to make this one, this giant one, but I'm going to show you this more to 1 1 scale, although not quite. It's smaller, and I think it looks better than the big one which I made first. So there's different like uh, styles of this locomotives because different companies they own it so they color it differently. Like CSX they like to have this CSX logo on the side and also they have different colors so this is the BNSF one, this is CSX and this is Union Pacific. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Union Pacific version. In the beginning, you want to um, make the buffer, which is just a 2 by 5 And in front of that, we want to add the same thing, but in the front, the two bottom corners are going to be stairs. Alright, you did that. So, next thing is fences here. I'm going to use nether brick for all of our fences. That is going to be the front end. Let's add a coupling uh, and some hooks. Now over here on um, two blocks above the tracks we're going to add some Sion stained clay. Alright, and after that, uh, let's make the bottom of the train, get a hopper, get stone brick slabs, so the, the train wheels are made using a uh, hopper, so these two represent one train wheel, in this case, so two, two, just three wheels, in between all of them, Add some slabs. For the cab. I get two by five here. Front and sides. Up here, add a Sion stained clay item frame, white stained glass, and the item frame. This is gonna represent the, the light that they have. So we're gonna add a three of them in a triangle shape, and an actual triangle. to make the slope more smoother using stairs on either side of this laps at the edge uh, and cap this off with uh, yellow carpet here for the cab we're going to use we're going to be using uh, black stained glass of so two like this and Two panels, one block uh, after the front, and we're gonna extend this. And we're going to be filling in the gaps with the uh, Sion stained clay, which, in my opinion, looks pretty gray to me, not Sion. But I don't know why they named that that. So add Sion to the roof. And we're going to be leaving the edges of the roof with some stairs. The cab kind of extends the middle here. So we're going to be extending. 
sure if that's enough, but just fix it later if I have to. Put these uh, item frames in the back of the cab, and they're gonna be like windows. Yeah, that you cannot see through. Um, got some um, pressure plates here too. Yeah, that one. That could be vents on the train. So there's gonna be two in the front. This. So there's going to be one here and one here. The way we're going to make it is put a black wall in the center. Then iron bars on either side of it. And let's extend this by four. So then the rest of the train, a lot of, a lot of this is mostly just yellow clay. And after this part, and so after this part, uh, the locomotive kind of dips like this. So we're gonna put that dip in the Sion clay one block down. And work on the bottom of the train. Oh yeah. Uh, when I was building this train and I was designing it, uh, they're actually the two sides of the train they're different see this side is actually cylinders and this side is just flat so we're going to be using that in our build so we can be as accurate as possible so this is not the side we're going to be building now <laughs> we're going to be building the right side so the right side is made using to see on like this stairs 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 which is three and then put a slab here and another three and just one there and you should just put stairs underneath it which is just ten but on this side we just this side's actually way more easier uh, we just put uh ten see on like this the stairs under to the rest of the wheel ah, okay yeah yes we know we want to move it towards above the tracks get a hopper get hoppers too get three pairs of them Slab, hopper, hopper, slab, it, yeah. <laughs> right there, slabs. And after the last hoppers here, we, we're gonna be start, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna be starting the buffers again. So just fill this in. And do it like the front. Stairs on the bottom edges. And Stairs, but this time the stairs could be upside down for the what's it called the coupling. I don't know why I did it that way, but just how it is it make a difference. But you can change it the other way if you want to. Extend this yellow blob here. You want to leave two. Two spaces before the tip of the edge of the train.
like um what should we do next let's put some slabs on top of here the middle section all right it looks like this is what we've got and then this will be a whole different section this section is mainly just young clay that on top and we want to leave two gaps here for furnaces fill sides and stairs that and uh, right more yellow clay Did I do it? Yep. Alright, now we're gonna extend it by adding some stone brick slabs like this. And add two at the edge. Two, and then fill in this gap here. We're gonna be adding a uh, light, backlight, which is just a button on a frame. Hmm. I just realized it's different from the front. Uh, oh, whatever. So we're going to be putting nether brick stairs and slabs. So it looks like I used four. Four stairs. One, two, three, four. And then two slabs. Perfect. Two and then four. On the bottom of this. Ladders. Could be the vents. Like I just fill this in, skip this one. Skip and fill that in under the nether. Let's fill in this gap here. Got a huge gap. Put some slabs in and on top of this we're gonna put some railings, which are just uh nether bricks uh, fences. Now for the railing, we're just going to use a pattern here. There should be a two space gap here. Yep, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fill this in with uh, slabs. Reach the edge. Do the same thing on the other side. And the next thing we're going to be making is the ladder that they have in the back, which is just three fence gates that are open. On top of each other, so they're stacked. That and that more vents. Put two of them here. Bottom. Right. And here. What should? I do? Oh yeah. So I think this is basically the train. And if you want to add more details, like the flag. We can use some banners. So I already made some banners. These are pretty easy to make. So this is a red banner with some blue, uh, it's called a stripe <laughs> on top, and uh, white at the bottom. I think yeah. And this one is a white banner with just red stripe on top and bottom. So that's pretty much what I used to make this flag. And we want to flag like two blocks and here two of these and two of those yes. I do it on the back one we just do the opposite two and then 
Yeah, that looks like American flag. And uh, each uh, what's it called? Each locomotive has an ID number. So I decided to make that in Minecraft using banners. So pretty simple to get the numbers, but you might not get all of the numbers because some of the some of them might be hard to make. Or not even possible. It'll look really, really bad. So yeah, we can make uh, numbers using banners. I'm gonna show you how to make one banner. Example. Oh yeah, in this train we want to use an orange, orange banner against you know orange and then red letters or numbers. So we'll get orange. Red. So I'm gonna be making the number zero. Just an example of what you're gonna do. Make one of them. And we're gonna be making a border of orange, so it looks way better. And we're gonna be placing four of them. Usually they have four numbers here. That there's your numbers and you can even get signs and place the numbers on the top of this. <laughs> so we should put a generic number zero 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 zero. That uh, if you add the sign here it looks a lot better than if you don't. So if you have nothing it looks better than nothing. <laughs> Alright, okay, we got a train here. I'm gonna just check if I'm really done, because usually I have a mistake, so. Alright, it looks like it's pretty much it. So this is a locomotive. If you want another one, you can have, um, I think it's called a double-ended one, where you have one here and another one's attached to the back. So you just clone this, you just flip it and do the same thing. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you haven't because I'll be making more videos. And yeah, right at, <laughs> I'm done.